song. In the small hours before dawn, a killer moves along through the cramped alleys of the entertainment quarter. He's on his way to carry out an assignment. He passes under the last neon signs to lit their lurid greens and purples gleam on the puddle pavement. It rained a while around midnight. Okay. Gleam on the puddled pavement. It rained a while around midnight. Dead to the world, lone drunks lie where they sank down against the walls. The killer, the killer wears a stylish trench coat with collar turned up past his chin. The hat angles natty and low over his eyes. He fiddles in his pocket with the lethal loop of bright metal cord, which he'll be employing shortly. Coming by a large darkened shop window, he slows. He halts a moment. Personal vanity is common in his line of work. The killer, reg Go. The killer regards his image impassively. He adjusts the wing of his collar in the silence of the pre-dawn. Then the silence gives way. The killer lowers his head and turns slightly. He listens. Somewhere behind one of the inert windows, a woman's voice is softly singing. The song is old and famously lovely, a call to new love, tenderness, the beauty of life even as it passes. With grace and simplicity, the song sings. With grace and simplicity, the voice sings. With grace and simplicity, the voice sings. So the words are disclosed like beads of rain, trembling and unprotected on a green leaf. The killer stands in the dim rainy alley, motionless under the late lit neon, as the transcendent melody floats in the air about him. When it's done, he doesn't move, not right away. Then he turns his head fully toward where the song came from. Then his attention comes back to the dark glass. He readjusts his collar. He continues on his way, whistling the tune a short while. Then no more. Silence. The inert drunks lie in their sodden sleep. His hand feels at the lethal cord in his pocket. Huh. It's in Japanese. 